Hi there, I'm Sandy Garson, and welcome to my tiny kitchen that's big enough to accommodate the whole world. I understand you want to know how to make a low-cal chickpea salad, so we're going to go today to Spain, where chickpeas are in almost everything. People just really love them. And I have started with just one can of chickpeas, which I have rinsed three or four times because you want to get that tinny canny flavor out of them about three or four times. So there's the start of our chickpea salad. And now for that little Spanish flavor, I have cut up some olives stuffed with pimento, about five or six big olives. It doesn't matter if you cut seven or four, you just want to cut some olives with pimento. And we're going to put those in the salad. <clears throat> and then we're going to add about half of a red onion for the red color. As you can see, I've cut half of an onion. You can imagine the size. And in goes our onion, which will give this a little bit of a nip. And we're going to add a pinch of oregano, maybe about a teaspoon. <clears throat> We're getting yummy. Hang on there. You can see it's getting colorful. And we haven't really added many calories to it, just a lot of yummy. And now we're going to add in <clears throat> some chopped parsley, about a quarter of a cup of chopped parsley, which is really going to give us some color. Look at that, huh? Okay. Now, for some more Spanish touch, I'm going to add a little pinch of tarragon. But here's where we can part. If you prefer basil and give it an Italian flavor, that's fine too. It works absolutely the same way. So this is your choice, the tarragon flavor or the basil flavor. That's where you get to have fun and put yourself into the cooking. So we've done that and we've made it tasty and colorful and we're going to add our black pepper to your taste. Some people love it peppery. We're going to add some salt. And last, <clears throat> of course, we're going to add olive oil. In this case, one third of a cup. going to make it nice and shiny and hold everything together. <coughs> and we're going to put in the juice of either one small lemon or half of a very large one. That's going to add a nice tang and bring out all the wonderful flavors. And by the way, chickpeas are very protein rich, so if you're vegetarian, this is a perfect salad. And last but not least, we're going to gild this <coughs> with just a touch of a dry and salty cheese, like manchego would be the Spanish, or parmesan, or locatelli would be the Italian, and it doesn't matter which way, which cheese you choose. And you would like to try and get a stringy grated effect. Whoops, sorry about that. I get some strings of cheese at the end to stir in for a little. <coughs> you can do that as many times as you like, but remember if you want to be locale, don't like to do it too many times. And there you have, with some crusty bread, <coughs> a very lovely low-cal chickpea salad. So, gracias and hasta la vista, or if you've done it Italian style, grazie, arrivederci. Mm -hmm.